Hello everyone, it's me Jens from the Demo Creator channel and I'm going to be your host today. Have you ever asked yourself if we people from the Wondershare team use our own software Demo Creator to record and edit our own videos? And here's going to be your answer. Yes, we are doing so and I'm going to show you today how I'm actually going through the editing process of a video for this channel. Just a rough editing to give you an overview how you can edit your own personal first YouTube videos using Wondershare's minimalistic software Demo Creator. But before we dive into the main video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as to activate the little notification bell down there. This way you can stay updated when it comes to Demo Creator and its newest features and also you are never going to miss out on any video here on this channel ever again. So definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel. And now we are going to dive right in, shall we? By the way, if you do not yet have downloaded and installed Wondershare's Demo Creator, then here's your chance. Make sure to check out the links at the top of the description. With it, you are going to get a free trial to Wondershare's Demo Creator, which is a great deal. So definitely make sure to download and install it before proceeding with the main video. Editing videos with Wondershare's Demo Creator is as easy as it can possibly get. It's highly intuitive, the timelines are really well structured and it comes with a lot of features. And by a lot, I mean a lot. And to get restarted, after recording your video file for your YouTube channel for example, we are going to grab onto your video file after importing it and drag it down to the video timeline. If your audio and video files are still tucked together, you are going to make a right click onto your video file and you are going to click on audio detach. This way you are going to have a separate audio layer on top of your video layer. And with that out of the way you can really start editing your video now. So let us start with the most basic features, namely cutting videos and also your audio layers in general. For that you are going to go to the point or the frame where you want to start cutting or splitting your audio and video layers. Then you are going to click on the so-called split feature. You can also press Ctrl and R, click on it and it's going to split up everything. Then go to the other side where you want to cut it down. Once again, you are going to cut it up and then you can mark everything and delete it if you want to cut something out for example. Next up we are going to add titles to our video. Maybe you want to have a nice and spicy introduction to your video for example. For that you are going to click on the title logo right here which is also called captions. Now simply drag for example the first one down onto your timeline and now you can start adding your title. Editing it is rather easy. Just go up there to the right hand corner and start editing your title. This is my first video for example. You can also scale it up if you wish or scale it down. Just grab on one of the corners and you see you can scale it down. Also you can place it anywhere in the video where you like. Just drag it around and you are going to notice that Demo Creator actually wants to help you place it or center it right in the middle which is also a feature which comes with Premiere Pro or for example Photoshop and it's extremely useful. So you see Demo Creator comes with a lot of high-end features built in it. Next to just editing the text you can also make it bold, you can change the text color however you wish and you can also create a border around your text which looks really funky if you ask me. I really like this feature a lot. I invite you to try around with the features a bit more like adding shadows and the like. It's really a lot of fun playing around with all of these options and Demo Creator really gives you a lot of options. Next up are the annotations. For this you are just going to click onto the annotation button and you can put in a few little speech bubbles for example into your video. Let us scroll over here and now you are going to see that you are going to have an annotation lying in there which works exactly like the captions we had before. You can edit it in the same manner and it comes in quite handy if you are creating a tutorial video for example and you forgot to say something. Just add a little annotation and your viewers are going to know what you wanted to tell them at the first place. Now here comes a feature which I like a lot. I always love this feature. Those are called transitions. They make it easy for you to transition from one part of the video to the next one. Meaning you were in the one place in your vlog and then you want to switch to the second day. This is really easy using Demo Creator. There you are going to click on the transitions button. Just navigate to the left hand side yet again and choose a transition that you would like. Now you are just going to drag it down to your video 
and hence you are done. To see how your transition is going to look, just glue everything together and let it run. Doesn't this look amazing? That looks hella cool with the motion blur and everything. So play around with all the transitions that Demo Creator has built into it. It's definitely worth it. Such a great feature. I love it. Next to the transitions, Demo Creator also provides you with a lot of effects. For example, green screening and keying. For this, you're going to click onto the effects tab and then you can choose between four effects. I leave it up to you to try around with those. But for example, pen and zoom is really good. You can zoom into videos with that and it makes makes the experience for the viewer way better. Same with the green screen option, works very nicely. Also, some people really enjoy it to have sound, background music running under their main video. For that, all you really need to do is import your sound file. And this sound file, you are simply going to track down onto a new audio layer. And now you can see you have a separate audio track running and you can edit it however you wish. You can speed it up, you can split it up, etc. Make it fit to your liking. Speaking of speeding up, speeding up in Demo Creator is actually extremely simple. All you have to do is click onto the video or audio file and then you can simply scroll down to speed and speed up your video by a big margin or you can even make it slow-mo, which can look quite cool if you ask me. And the last thing I would like to present to you is picture-in-picture picture videos. Namely, let's say you recorded your camera file, just like I do right now, separately next to your screen capturing. Then what you're going to do is you're going to import your other video file at first, drag the video or picture file down onto your timeline as always. And if the picture is still too big, do not worry about that. You are going to click on the picture or the video, navigate to the top right and then you can scale it down and put it somewhere where you want to have it. For example, into the top right corner. It's as easy as it can possibly get. Very intuitive, am I right? And after you're done editing everything, as always, simply go up to the export button, set up everything and then you are done. And this is it for today. If this video was helpful and to your liking, definitely make sure to subscribe to the Demo Creator channel. That way you are never ever going to miss out on any more updates regarding features and also future videos here on this channel. So definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel as well as to activate the notification bell down below. This has been Jens from the Demo Creator channel and I bid you farewell. Have a great one. Ciao.